it doesn't matter how many times I see this, I'm always blown away by watching icebergs just wash out to sea. Now, this is perfectly natural. There's a glacier just here and the, um, it's called carving where the um, icebergs just break off the glacier and they just drift out to sea and they wash back onto a black sand beach um, just over there on my right and there they kind of just melt and get smashed up by the sea. But seeing these, especially the really blue icebergs, it's so incredible because the bluer they are, the longer they've been there. So, you know, who knows how many thousands of years this ice represents, you know, it's incredible. Such an amazing place. One of the challenges of capturing this kind of place is just knowing where to frame your photo because there's so much happening, even though it's still and everything's happening very slowly, there's still so much to see visually and it just means that your eyes kind of keep looking everywhere, looking for the right photo. But actually, if you take your time, and I always say this on my um, videos, if you just take your time spend some time in the place, just absorb it. It helps you to begin to see the right compositions to capture the best photos. And it just requires, you know, some time looking around, breathing it in, kind of enjoying it really, not just coming to just shoot it, but coming to actually soak up the atmosphere. And then you start to see compositions and start to see light and where the light's traveling from, begin to see where the clouds, you know, what, what, what they're doing, which way they're stretching and, just things begin to kind of come into place. And so, you know, I've been here for half an hour or so now, just wandering around and I'm gonna try and get as far over there as I can to get as near as I can to where the icebergs are breaking off. Um, I won't be able to get all the way, but because there's obviously a lot of water, but I should be able to walk around some of the way and uh, yeah, just see what I can see. It's beautiful, isn't it? The sound that you can hear, if you can hear it, I'm not sure if this mic will pick it up, is the ocean which is just roaring away behind the camera just over there. And, uh, and yet over here it's so peaceful, it's just so quiet as these icebergs just drift out. But over there, so loud. So this is where a lot of the icebergs that break off from the glacier end up on this beach where they just wash up it with the tide and then they either get melted by the sun or just basically pounded by the waves and gradually they vanish and every day you come back there's like a new set of icebergs to photograph and they look like incredible pieces in a, a kind of a sculpture gallery i love photographing just the icebergs themselves or even inside the icebergs where you can see the kind of detail of the, of the frozen ice, the frozen water that's been there for so long. The sun's coming up now as well, so it just adds a bit of beautiful light to the whole scene. 
You can see all the spray as well. So much of it, it really helps with the photographs. Adds so much atmosphere. And the waves are just pounding, so many. There's also a seal that keeps swimming around, but every time I try and photograph him, he <laughs> goes underwater again. What a place. found this spot which I think has got a great photo. Oh, hold it. <laughs> oh, almost got soaked. And you don't want to get soaked in ice water. Um, yeah, there's a small iceberg there just washed up on the beach and it's it's away from all the other photographers. They're all over there somewhere. And this side's just got a real like amazing mood to it. And you can just see there there's that piece of ice there. And then the, the waves are breaking just over it, so it's got a really good um, feel to the photo. You see those massive waves just breaking in there. It's just such a lovely mood that way, so I'm going to try and get some photos up there. We were here the other day to capture this mountain range and it was just so windy and unbelievably um, difficult to photograph because the sand, the black sand that's down on the, on the beach there was just blowing into my face and I just could not, you know, sp spend much time at all taking a photo and it was raining at the same time. So it was really hard to get any photos. I did manage to get a photo that I thought looked quite nice, which um, I will probably use in my book. Um, but today it's different. It's beautiful. It's sunny. It's just an idyllic day for anyone who wants to walk on the beach and look at the mountains. Um, so yeah, it just, just shows you really. You come on one day and it's difficult. You come on another day and it's a dream. Um, I guess the d difficult day will be more rewarding because that photo is like, ah yes, I remember the pain I went through to get that. Um, but look at it though. It's just so majestic. Such a beautiful place.